Equal parts flower, water, and awesome by Lai Chi. Raymond F. stared back at the box in her hooves. This was it. This was a moment he had been waiting for all week. It was now or never. Uh. And let no pony ever say that Raymond Ash, Equestria's most skilled flyer, ever backed down just because something was hard. Heat skillet over medium heat and grease slightly with oil. Skillet is ready when drops of water sprinkled onto surface sizzle. She frowned, looking for the instructions on the box to the stove in front of her. It had been hard, but she'd finally managed to co convince Pinkie Pie to let her use the kitchen in the turkey coop corner. Well, maybe hard wasn't the right word, but those cupcakes hadn't been cheap, and hiding them around Ponyville had taken the better part of two hours. Of course, it was important that they'd be well hidden and set far apart. Pinkie Pie might be a little loopy, but she could find anything and had proven capable of keeping up with Raymond Ash on more than one occasion. Raymond Ash returned her focus to the task at hand. Focus, Dash. This is no time for distractions. Come on, you could do this. You're the best athlete in Ponyville. Why shouldn't you be the cook's best cook, too? Carefully, she reached towards the knob on the stove and turned, on, turned it to medium. It clicked and the fire sprang from the stove atop. Careful not to get too close to the flame, she set the skillet on the stove, pouring a small amount of oil into the middle. She was lucky that Pinkie Pie had left most of the stuff she needed lying around. She didn't relish the idea of trying to make sense of the Pink Pony's method for pantry reorganization. After several minutes, she dipped her hoof in the nearby bucket of water that she had prepared in case of an emergency, and shook several drops into the pan. A satisfied smile spread across her face as it sizzled and disappeared. All right. Phase one complete. Time to move on to phase two. Batter. She opened a box and poured its contents into a large mixing bowl. Combine batter mix and water in a mixing bowl. Stir with a wire whisk and a large spoon until thoroughly mixed. Batter should be slightly lumpy. Following the instructions, she added water to the mix, careful not to add too much, and make the batter runny. Grabbing a large wooden spoon between her teeth, she stuck it, her head in the bowl and whipped it around vigorously. Flecks of batter spraying over her face and mane. Okay, she said, removing her batter smeared face from the mixing bowl. That looks about right. What's next? Grabbing the empty box, Rimadash carefully read the instructions. This part was crucial. The instructions had been had to be followed to the letter, while all of her work up to this point would, would have been for naught. Beads of sweat formed on her brow, and she licked her lips, eyes narrowing in, in concentration. Pour one-fourth of a cup of batter into skillet. Cook about one minute on each side until golden brown. She took a deep breath, trying to calm her shaky hooves. Not since the young best young flyers competition had, to be, had she been this nervous. It all came down to this. It was a sink or swim situation. Either she would succeed here, or she would go down trying. Slowly, ever so slowly, she began to pour. The batter hit the center of the skillet and spread out to his... Uh, until a disc f filled it, leaving a small amount of space and around the edges. After a minute, the surface began to bubble. Dash grabbed the spatula in her mouth and slowly slid it under her prize. With a sudden twist of her neck, she flipped it, landing it perfectly in the center of the skillet. Yes! She cried, pumping her ho front hooves in the air. Rainbow Dash, you got it all! Awesome flying skills, good looks, and masterful cooking technique! You really are the perfect pony! Another minute passed before she carefully slid the spatula back under the now completely, uh, nearly complete pancake. Noting the golden brown color, she picked it up and set it onto a nearby plate. She looked back and admired her creation, watching as the wisps of steam rose from what uh, was one fine pancake, if she did so, say so herself. A moment passed, and a contemplative look made its way into her face. Mm. You know, she said thoughtfully, tapping her chin with a hoof. This pancake is awesome, but I don't know if it's Rainbow Dash awesome. I mean, any pony can make a pancake, but I bet I can make a pancake ten times more awesome than anything any pony's ever seen. Her face broke into a grin, and she peered over her shoulder at the door of the pantry. I think I just had a perfect idea. A lot of sparkle gaped at the sight before her. A smoking hole was all that remained of what had once been the kitchen wall of the sugar coop corner, a scorch mark radiating out from across the tiles. 
blackened pancake batter had glued itself to the ceiling and walls, and a crater in its opposite wall indicated that something was something approximately the size and weight of a pony had impacted at high speed. A crowd had begun to gather outside, curious and frightened, frightened ponies craning their necks tr to try and see inside the building. What? What is this? I don't even... What? She said, trying to get her thoughts organized. What the hey happened here? Look, what happened isn't important. Mistakes were made, pancakes exploded. Rimodash said, her face stained black. Her normally prismatic fringe was charred with, uh, and, bl and blown back, standing up straight. What is important is that you help me fix it before Pinkie Pie gets back and finds out I ruined her boss's kitchen. Now are you going to stand there gaping or are you going to help me fix this? Twilight shook her head and glared at Rainbow. Fix it. Fix it? What the heck do you expect me to do? I can't just poof it all back to normal, you know. Half the pieces of the wall are across town and the stove is embedded in the side of my tree. How do you expect me to fix this? She shouted, shoving her hoof in Rainbow Dash's <clears throat> chest. I don't know, you're the magic one. Just hurry up and do something before Pinky. Uh-oh. Rainbow Dash's eyes widened as Pinky bounced into the kitchen through the hole in the wall, seemingly oblivious to the mess. Hey, Rainbow Dash. How did the cooking go? Oh, hi, Twilight. Did you come to try Rainbow's cooking? I bet it's gonna be great. She said, bouncing up into the air. Um, Pinky? Twilight said, gesturing around her. Pinky stopped hopping and blinked, looking around the destroyed kitchen. She looked up at the mess in the coating the ceiling had, and smiled. Ooh, pancake! She cried and jumped up to the ceiling, taking a bite out of the, out of the blackened remains of a pancake. Mmm! Twilight and Rimura stared as Pinky bounced up and down, licking the ceiling clean. Rainbow Dash? Yeah, Twilight? Remind me never to let you use my house for anything. The end. <laughs>